Journals at TreyerWilderness.com. Thanks so much for joining me today in my kitchen. I just wanted to show you something really, really simple. Um, tonight is Friday. We uh, traditionally have pizzas on Friday nights. And I found an amazing crust that uh, works great for people with um, food allergies, uh, gluten intolerance. Um, we do typically make the Mountain Boy a gluten-free pie crust, but since I found this, he really likes this so much more. It's so simple. I'm going to spin the camera around and show you what I'm making here. Stay tuned. This could not be simpler. Um, this has in it um, four tablespoons of almond flour. I use Bob's Red Mill gluten-free almond flour. It also has um, four tablespoons of flax meal in there. Again, I use Bob's Red Mill uh, gluten-free uh, flax meal. It also has garlic and salt and any other seasonings that... Um, I feel like putting in there at the moment. We really do concoct a lot of things back here. This recipe originally came from the Trim Healthy Mama cookbook, um, but I've altered it. Um, this also has four eggs in it. You can use egg whites if you are um, doing the Trim Healthy Mama. Um, I need more protein, so I put the eggs in, and these are fresh farm eggs, and there's nothing better. So um, mix this all up. I'm going to add another cup. I'm going to add a cup of uh, mozzarella cheese. You can also make this gluten-free by adding um, a either goat's milk um, cheese to this or uh, Daya cheese. That's D-A-I-Y-A. -A. Um, it is a soy-based cheese. I prefer not to use soy as much as possible, so um, we typically use goat's milk. Um, and what you do is you just mix this up, and then you spread it onto a piece of parchment paper um, on a baking sheet and stick it in the oven um, for roughly 15 minutes um, till it's uh, the consistency that you'd like it to be or like that you like your pizza crust to be and um, then you can pull it out and add toppings to it and put it back in you can eat it by itself it's really really tasty really simple and uh, I've been dying to share this with you so stay tuned I'll show you more of what it looks like once it's on the pan and then the finished product stay tuned okay there you have it that is spread out on the parchment paper ready to go in the oven. Um, you don't want it to be real thick because this will actually puff up because of the eggs that are in there but this turns out wonderful so I'm gonna stick it in the oven stay tuned and I'll show you what it looks like but this is great this can be made in the sun oven I will probably be doing that this weekend yet and making another one of these in the sun oven I just dried some blueberries and I'll be making a peach cobbler in the sun oven uh, tomorrow also so stay tuned a lot going on we just canned some peaches last evening and got about 10 quarts of peaches so it's that time of year we're just moving from one thing to the next so stay tuned lots going on and and enjoy sharing it with you guys so be sure to go over to our website at treyerwilderness.com you can find us on Facebook and Google Plus and Twitter and uh, also on Instagram be sure to sign up for our newsletter we do a weekly newsletter and share as much as we can and stay tuned there's some great things coming this fall so thanks so much for joining us you guys take care and until the next video God bless. Hey guys, there it is. And it didn't make it. It didn't make it unscathed. It's been et. <laughs> um, but that's what it looks like when it is finished. It's a nice um, consistency. Um, it's nice and thick and cheesy. If you decide to put the cheese in, you don't have to put cheese in it to make the crust. Um, it just is really tasty that way. And then you can put your sauce and cheese and I like to put broccoli on top of my pizza and some ham, whatever. You know, you put all your toppings on, all your seasonings on, and you're good to go. It's also a great snack. You can also use it as a uh, sandwich-type roll or sandwich-type um, wrap. So um, multi-purpose, really good for you, and there you have it. So, again, you guys take care. Thank you so much for joining me, and God bless. Mm -hmm.